Yo, some more ether gear. Oh my god. This guy's hair turned blue like Jalal. <laughs> he looks like straight up like Jalal. What's up guys, it's Celebathin. We are back with another reaction today. Today we are reacting to Eden Zero episode 7. Now, episode 6 was a great, great setup episode. Um, we got introduced to Space Pirate Elsie, which was very interesting and very good. Um, it's not that we just got, like, we already got introduced to her previously. It was just more or less we got really, um... I guess main character meeting LC kind of thing. So it's like a real introduction into the story where we get to at least see a bit more of who she is. Hopefully continuing it off with uh, episode 7 here. But we did get into an important um, little bit of tidbit within the episode too. We got to learn about the uh, Chronophage, which was the monster that took time from Norma. I'm sure that thing is going to be important later in the story. Because I'm sh there's no reason that they, they would have shown us this if this wasn't actually going to be... I guess something important going forward into the future. And now we have two Professor Wises who have both lived different uh, existences. So it's just like two different timelines. So I guess they can exist together. We'll, we'll, we'll see what happens more with that. Um, and then we got more into Elsie. We got into her ship and we kind of um, we kind of had Shiki kind of going through her ship fighting a bunch of her uh, henchmen and they were all squid like creatures which didn't really make any sense. And then when you got to Elsie at the very end we got to see her and she had a dead face I guess you can say. It didn't look like a mask. It looked like that was her actual face. So there's something up with her and I cannot wait to see what's actually what it actually going to be I guess. Um, but, uh, without further ado, we're going to get started with that. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe, turn on notifications. So, you know, when I upload next on this reaction of Eden Zero and many, many more shows and movies and anime. And, uh, don't forget to check out the Patreon links down below, uh, full uncut reactions of this show and many, many more there. Seriously, check it out. I upload a lot more frequently on there and you can get a lot more, I guess, uncut content on there. See those full reactions, crisp, clear, and beautiful. But forget all of that. We're going to get started with this reaction of Eden Zero Episode 7. Let's go. Yeah. A skull human, it seems like she she's possessed by something. Dude, is she a like squid? Like what? The hell happened? Bro, what did she do? He just touched her. And she like and he like backed off. <laughs> Wait, no. He never had the ether gear when he was young? I guess? Or... So is it something that you have to like install like a chip? <laughs> what is Ether Gear really? I want to know what it is in its base form. Believe in yourself. Shonen rule number one. Believe you can do it. <laughs> Yo, that's so cool. There are many adventurers who search for mother and never came back as their. But that's really interesting. Fantastical adventures outside of the galaxy or the co Sakura Cosmos. Point of 
Yo, she got the she got the popo on her case too, man. Cosmetic justice of the interstellar union. Oh, is that his name is Justice? And this guy's name is Victory, I guess. Okay, this guy's name is Creed. I guess these guys are gonna be important since they told us what their names are. Well, that's an interesting development there that he was looking for mother to. A legendary goddess that all have wanted to see. Yo, that's the Demon King's power though, or his ether gear at the very least. But that's what he just said. It was uh, the Demon King's power, but he got so strong right now, man. Gravity Comet. Yeah, let's go. I knew that move was gonna come up. Doesn't that mean that she could just surpass the Demon King then, since Elsie was stronger than her? Him, apparently. That isn't Elsie. That was a fake, man. Well, hot damn. I know that the original Elsie definitely has some ether gear. She does. So what was her whole purpose of here? I'm giving you guys that ship. Really? Is she nice? There's something something about me feels like she might be a little bit nicer than we might have originally in, intent like anticipated. See, I knew I liked Elsie for a reason. She seems like a uh the ship belonged to Demon King Ziggy. Oh, so this is the Demon King ship then. But お前を見つけたと言っていた。俺グランベル生まれじゃなかったのか。だからマザーよりグランベルへ帰ることを選んだ。お前を育てるためにな。いないのですね。ジギーには借りがあってね。じゃあギルストに私たちを売るって話は半
Okay, what is that robot that just came out there? Is that is that in the ship? Dude, it's it's a big ass ship. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, but there's so many like uh, little spuds around. It's kind of nasty. Thank you for for saying it. どうしたピノ。じいちゃんのことか。はい。まだ整理がつかなくて。そっか。でも掃除は手伝いよな。お前も仲間なんだから。すごい。何なのこの大きなお風呂。早速掃除掃除。こんなお風呂入ってみたか
space, I guess. I don't know how far out, like far out this universe goes. Like everything in the Eden universe space thing looks too magical for me. I'm, I'm sorry. There's like Sakura flowers literally flying around in the Sakura cosmos. I don't know where they come from. They just come out of some kind of machine. But there's literal Sakura petals every time they fly through the galaxy. So <laughs> it's, it's a it's a strange world indeed. Um, we got more to the Demon King ship, and we and we learned a little bit more of lore about him. We learned that the Demon King was looking for Mother. We learned that Shiki was born off planet and that the Demon King returned back to Granville because Shiki, uh, like he wanted to protect Shiki instead of look for Mother, which he could have still done. But because if he went to Mother, he could have gotten his wish, uh, I guess. He could have rejuvenated himself probably. So what they said when they said whoever goes to Mother is born again. Which is something very, very interesting to note. Because they didn't really uh, add any further context into that. But I know that is going to be very important somewhere down the line. It's a very, it's not a throwaway line. It's definitely going to be an important line. Um, uh, I don't think anything else happened. And then we got some more Professor Wise, uh, not even Professor Wise yet. Just uh, Wise Steiner antics and uh, happy costumes and Pino being a uh, depressed robot saying what am I supposed to do with my life now that I have no purpose so <laughs> we're gonna start to see the existential crisis that um, P EM Pino goes through in the next couple of episodes until it finally realizes its true mission is to help the Demon King which is Shiki which is going to be his new ma its new master I'm not calling it he or anything because they're robots it's an it end of story even though it's uh it's pink i can't assume it's gender as a female and i can't assume it's gender as a male so it's an it to me because it's a machine it does not have a gender end of story anyway with that we're gonna end the video i will see you guys around it's been great you guys have been supporting me a lot it's been really helpful um the patreon has been really really helpful for all the people who are members there you guys are awesome you're doing me you've been really helping me out a lot honestly you guys and i really really love doing this and i hope i can do this a lot more a lot longer i can't even speak now too much too many too many reactions today but with that we're gonna leave it off no motivational uh, uh little uh tidbit today we're just gonna end it here Bye. See you.